Hey collective, welcome to my channel, Divine Chu Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. I am your reader, Annetta. And collective, we are going to take a look at your person, check in on your person to see what messages spirit has for your person, see what energies is surrounding your person at the current moment, okay? And this is your person that is on your mind. This could be romantically. I mean, this could be your friend as well. Um, but I'm really more to check on the romantic energies, if you don't mind. <laughs> and see what's going on, okay? Collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. Um, I already prayed over the reading and I already cleared the energies in the space. So we're going to go ahead and hop on into it. Collective, thank you for joining me on this read. If you would like to click the like button, the subscribe button, the share button, I really would appreciate that. It will help the algorithm for the channel so these messages could get across to those who need to hear them. I greatly appreciate it. And I also, to interject your energies into these readings when you interact with the like buttons and the subscribe buttons. That means I could tap into your energies because you're interacting with the channel. All right, so we have adjacent possibilities and goddess of the moon. So somebody here is keeping some some type of opportunities a secret, or this is an opportunity that's coming in that you don't know about as of yet. This is what I'm getting. This could be you, you or your person. Yeah, thinking while I'm in journey. And yeah, so somebody could be keeping an opportunity a secret. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could play basketball. <laughs> Somebody could be a Pisces. You're your person. Very emotional here. Yeah. Somebody could be 24. Somebody could be 52. Somebody could be born in 52. Somebody's grandmother born in 52. We have anxiety and cornucopia. Somebody's worried about if they're going to have their happiness, if they're going to achieve their happiness. Making me feel like your person, they don't know if they're gonna be if they can be happy with you. I mean, this is what I'm getting collective. Ooh. This is for some of you guys, for others, this is you. You don't know if you're if you could be happy with your person or if you could achieve happiness with your person. Okay. Yeah, we have six chakra, Archangel Metatron is here. Yeah. Somebody could be getting third eye activation about who your divine counterpart is your twin some of you guys or yeah contract yin yang some of you guys are on or just discovering that you're on a twin flame union or this could be a person just realizing or just getting that download or having that um that um foresight or that intuition about this connection it's making me feel like visions the person could be getting visions about the contract, the soul contract that they have with you. Somebody's waking up. Yeah, that third eye waking up. So collective, your person feels like your person is waking up to this this connection, this journey with you. They could be all in their head. Some of them could be worried about if they fumbled their happiness or if they if this is their complete happiness, something like that. With this cornucopia here, let's see. Mm, somebody's birthday could be on the 18th or the 11th. Somebody's birthday could be November 22nd. Look, yin and yang came flying out here. Mm. It's making me feel like uh, your person could have found out about the connection that you two have a little too late. They could have started something else somewhere else in the past. Keeping it a secret. Ugh, ugh, broken hearted. Yeah, third eye. Broken hearted. Man holding the heart. Star warning. It's making me feel like collective. Your person could have done something in the past that now they're worried about. Worried about... Ugh. If they made the right choice in the past, now that they know that they have a bright future with you, because now they see you as the soulmate that you are, the twin that you are for some of you. Mm, let's see. Archangel Metatron is helping your person come to this realization. 
Yeah, heart chakra. So now we have the third eye chakra and the heart chakra showing up here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, collective, your person is being worked on because they went through some type of heartbreak here with the man holding the heart and heartbroken. Oh, yeah. Your person then got their heart broke, okay? Sitting here holding their heart in their hand. Or, or your person is feeling this at the current moment because they got the epiphany of who you are. That's why they sitting over here in anxiety, worry. I mean, in despair. I mean, just they, they, they stressing over here. Because they know they, shit, this right here, they broke their own heart is what I heard. Star Wormin is here. Okay, because shit, there's a king of pentacles right here that you could have victory with collective. Ooh, somebody over here sitting in financial constraints. Because some type of action that was taken. Or this could be you. And now, boo, door to value and door to romance is here. So, for some of you guys, you could have been in these financial constraints and then, boom, you could have taken some type of action and became the King of Pentacles or, or you could have victory and success with the King of Pentacles. And that's a storm warning for this King of Wata here, sitting here heartbroken with their heart in their hand because they got some type of epiphany about your future collective your adjacent possibilities that you're keeping secret or that is being kept secret from you or them something like that uh, yeah mental conflict your person over here mentally conflicted because that heart chakra is activated okay they want to reunite through your cups they also mentally conflicted because they they don't know if you're gonna be rejoicing and celebrating in love. Third party energy is here. That's why they're over here sitting in anxiety, stressed and worried about you having this cornucopia with a yin and yang energy. Or if they could have this cornucopia with their, their, their yin to their yang. Somebody found out that you they twin or their divine counterpart or their high level soulmate, something like this awareness i can't make it up after they emotionally withdrew from you collective damn look crown chakra liddy they getting all kind of messages and downloads spiritually about you collective and who you are to them look emotional withdrawal here you go positive movement forward because you spiritually strong and shit your ancestors held you up spiritually uh uh spiritually held you up you had the host of heaven Holds you up spiritually. Also, too, I will say this. It took all your spiritual strength to emotionally withdraw from your person, Eight of Cups. So you can move forward positively. Okay? And manifest your celebration. You could rejoice in. After your person left you mentally conflicted because they had adjacent possibilities that they kept secret in the past. And you had to heal your heart chakra. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. What's up under this seat? Look at spiritual strength in this devil energy. Temptation. Some of you guys, your person was tempted away to go into another direction. Devil energy. Yeah, they shit. They didn't pass that test. Mm -mm. And all the only thing you could do was just heal. Hermit energy. And choose wisely. Some of you guys could have waited on your person to come back. And start this. Rebuild this foundation with you again. But. Sacrifice and solitude. They left you hanging. That's what I see. Sacrifice and solitude. Yep. Yep, they left you with obstacles and challenges. Left you suffering in silence. Because they left you in this hermit energy. Or you went into this hermit energy because shit, they left you waiting. Thank you for the confirmation. And you're suffering in silence, but shit. You, that's how you... You got your passion back. You got your passion united. And then love begins. Self-love. It started with self-love. 
started loving on yourself because you suffered in silence, but then you shit, Stella got a groove back. That past something happened between suffering and silence and passion united. That love began, baby. You started pouring that love onto self. God started pouring love into you, baby. The universe, I can't make it up. Started pouring that love into you and you started pouring it on yourself and booyah, triumphant return. Chariot energy, gone by, movement, choices and decisions. Taking back authority. Emperor energy, okay? So yeah, if, if you have to get into your emperor energy, male or female, to bring balance and temperance to your energies after you had to move on from the circumstances situation from your person. Wow. That's beautiful, collective. I see why you have cornucopia and yin and yang. Shit, it's feeling like you have this coming in. This how come your person over here is sitting in this anxiety. This this feels like it's outside of your person. That's why they over here worried. Worried about if they're going to have this with you. This is making me feel like, no. After seeing that backstory, let's see. What can you tell me about this goddess in the moon? Somebody that had some secrets here. Uh, somebody shot they, <laughs> somebody was shooting they shot. Shooting they shot in the dark. Uh-huh. Because they had adjacent possibilities here. Uh-huh. Shooting they shot in the dark. Uh -huh. With these secrets. With a goddess. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Somebody was creeping around with somebody at nighttime. That's for somebody. Memories of love and destiny. See? Will of fortune and memories of love. Somebody was shooting they shot at nighttime. And then uh, fucked around and lost their destiny. Okay, will of fortune and upright. I mean, divine timing is at play. Things had to move forward, baby. And it just became a memory of love, honey. Somebody had to shoot their shot in the dark and booyah. You had to move on. You had to get gone. Some, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. So your person, you know, shit. This is the six of cups here. Memories of love. Destiny. For some of you guys, your person want to shoot their shot in the dark <laughs> to come move forward towards you. It's their destiny to be together with you, collective. Divine timing is at play here. Oh. But they got adjacent possibilities here for some of you guys. What can you tell me about these adjacent possibilities? Yeah. They holding on to these memories of love, though. You could have been with your person four to six years. Okay. Somebody could be 24, 18, or this one you could have met your person, 22. Somebody's birthday could be November 18th, November 24th, November 22nd, November 6th, June 24th, June 18th, June 11th, June 22nd. Let's see. Okay, tell me about these adjacent possibilities. What's going on with these adjacent? I mean, possibilities everywhere. What 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 can what 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 can you tell me about these? What have, could have, should have? Oh, huh? Material and spiritual prosperities. And I heard woulda, coulda, shoulda. We have 6'6 six, six out here. 66 could be significant. And that's the truth. <laughs> shoulda, woulda, coulda. Somebody made a decision. Somebody made a decision. Honey boy. And they rested on that decision. Because they was going to get material and spiritual prosperities. But it caused an emotional loss. So you mean to tell me, collector, that your person, they had other choices and options that, you know, they, they thought they could have, or they could have had material 
or spiritual prosperity with that other adjacent possibility, but it ended in emotional loss. Because some type of judgment has been called and something has been laid to rest for, for um, wands here. I mean, four swords here. Well, I see wands, but, you know, rest and rejuvenation to me, that's four swords, but with this judgment here. So something I laid to rest. So we're going to look into that. Okay. Uh, they say bring it on up. Okay. Well, let's see. What's this emotional loss? Entrapped in fear. See? Something didn't work out. Somebody had, <laughs> they thought they had adjacent possibilities. And they made a they made a, a judgment call. They they shit. That was their truth. Mm mm. Man caused nothing but emotional loss, and now they trapped in fear. Cause somebody waited too long, or something took too long, and now somebody just waiting for their oh, shit. I heard waited for years, a waiting game for a firm foundation. Shit, they have to find out that they just had to move the hell on. It didn't. It never came to fruition. Somebody could have waited for years. Okay, somebody could have waited, shit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten years or more for this firm foundation to be built. But they just been faced with all kind of mountains and obstacles and challenges here, and they just had to move on. Uh -huh. They moved on to their divine feminine? What? They spiritual union? Huh? That was their destiny anyway. <laughs> this one that went around the block only to end up back where they started from. <laughs> That's what this seemed like. Oh my God. The temperance energy, patience. <laughs> I can't make this up. Wait a guys. Some of you guys, y'all did have patience and wait on your person for up to 10 years for them to leave a situation emotionally withdraw. And heal a connection with you. Okay, because shit, third eye chakra was on point. You seen this shit come? You knew they'll be back around. Some of you guys, it could take up to 10 years. Some of you guys have been up to 10 years for your person to double back around. Oh, shit. Hey. I... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's that's somebody's message. For some of you guys, it could have been up to 10 years that you and your person has been separated. One to 10 years and, and they sitting in here in anxiety because now they, they, they see that whoever they was with, it's not the one. It's you. It's you. You're the one that was destined to have the material and spiritual prosperity. It was you. They thought it was over here. No. The truth came out about that. And now they over here sending in anxiety. What can you tell me about this anxiety? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about this anxiety, please? And thank you. Ooh. Why I see us? Ooh, I see two geishas in this cornucopia right here. This is like two geishas that is protecting this cornucopia from this one that's that's over here in anxiety. So there's two spirit guys right here that's protecting this, that's protecting this cornucopia from your, this 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 masculine here, your person. Foundation and disruption. Yeah. I know what I'm looking at. Hell yeah, because then somebody want to dis disrupt your foundation and achievements and shit. You know, they patiently planning that shit. That's what I say. This look like two, it look like two geishas. One got a knife, and, and, it's, and it's the other one. They they protected. They they look looking dead at you. Don't you bring your ass over here with your disordered ass? Don't you bring your ass over here trying to disrupt this household? Protect this gift. That's what I heard. Tower moment. Somebody foundation is disrupted. 
somebody household is it's no more. That shit, it crumbled. Somebody's birthday could be April 16th, April 20th, April 6th, April 18th, April 24th, April 11th, April 22nd. Damn. Who we have April 20th? Somebody could be a bus smoker. Somebody could be smoking a lot of bud here. Oh, goodness. I mean, yeah. All the achievements. I mean, somebody is... They they over here sitting in anxiety because they worried about everything that they have built, everything that they have achieved, everything that they have created, have done, have gained. It's, it's like, is they, are they going to lose it? Is You know, somebody, they, they all tied up. Their hands are tied. This is for some. For others, you know, that's what they wanted to do to you. Because, shit, patience and planning and triumph. <clears throat> it's making me feel like somebody want to come, come over. Yeah, somebody was patiently planning some shit because third eye and crown chakra. And you got patience again and withdraw, moving on. Divine feminine, spiritual union, love begins. Universe, stay on your ground. Recognition and reward. Deception and envy. Yeah. Let's put one on this. Uh, let's put one more on this tower. Cause I don't. Mm, we can't say about that. We can't say about this tower, Holy Spirit. Let's put one on the tower. Yeah, somebody worry about them losing everything. Yeah, somebody could be getting kicked out of a home, losing a home, losing. Yeah, somebody is unstable. Somebody worried about that. Yeah, look at emotional withdrawal. Somebody worried about somebody being emotionally emotionally withdrawn. Throat chakra, they not talking. They not talking. Somebody worried about somebody telling them that, that shit. They don't love them no more. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, suffering in silence. Somebody, look, somebody is not talking. They're emotionally withdrawn. They're not talking. They're suffering in silence. They're going through a tyro moment with something that they they built, they achieved, and shit. They suffer in silence because they want this they want this brand new passionate beginning. Okay? Somebody gotta be spiritually strong against something that they're being tempted by. Something that they manifested. Yeah, somebody gotta patiently pan them. Get the fuck away, is what I heard. <laughs> Yeah, damn. What can you say about this cornucopia? It's making me feel like collective that this cornucopia is being protected from your person because your person got to do something first. Uh, they got to... It's almost like they got to come to terms or they got to take accountability or they got to come to the truth of self or something like that. What is this? Triumph. The chariot energy came right on now. Intuition, the high priestess, and the lover. See, look, your person, they got to stop bullshitting themselves. The high priestess with the lovers, this person know that you are their person, but they're not saying nothing. They want to move forward towards you and take this leap of faith with you, higher level of commitment with you, but there is a five of pentacles and the, and the, the seven of swords right here, okay, with a third party. Jolly says third party. That's what I'm getting. So, you know. And these are major arcanas. These five major arcanas. I better this cornucopia. And they said put those out there. Put them on out there. Damn. They said bring them on out. Bring them out. Bring them out. I mean, come on. We clarifying the cornucopia, baby. We got the Herifin, Taurus energy. The full energy. Aries energy. Pisces energy. The High Priestess, Pisces Energy, Heavy Pisces. The Lovers, Harmony, Gemini Energy. And, and we have the Triumph, which is the Chariot Energy. Cancer Energy. So, you know. Oh, this is bound to happen. I mean, we do have destiny out here. Will of Fortune with Memories of Love. This is bound to happen. Ain't nothing, nobody could do about this union right here. 
not not you not your person shit not this this other person no mm -mm. there's a union that's happening now i will say this don't mean you got to go back into union but there will be so uh, there will be a coming together to talk about this to hash this out to close this out something uh-huh uh-huh yeah a happenstance to run into or something or this gonna be done in 5d it's gonna be 3d or 5d make a lot on yourself collective this gonna happen You can only resist God for so long. We have cornucopia, yin and yang. Okay. I mean, it, like we all have free will, of course. Jason possibilities. I mean, you know. But when God put two twins together, I mean, it is what it is. Divine counterparts, even. Okay. He know what he's doing. But it, again, we have free will. With this judgment right here. And it's resting the Judah nation, you know, it's, it's, it's really making me feel like collective. Um, for those who have been apart for like 10 years or more, um, y'all gonna come back together. And, and I don't, I won't, I won't necessarily say 10 years, but like at least five years or more. Okay. I, I'll break it down to five years. Because after a while, when y'all get out there and y'all date and, and y'all come to the realization, because this is what it is. Now, if, if if this is not you and your person, I ain't talking about y'all asses. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about who I see out here. After a while of dating other people and getting, in, getting into other relationships and, you know, breaking up and healing from those. When y'all come back together or come back around each other, it's, it's instant magnetic attraction. Okay? Now, this is not for all of you guys. That's why I say take the message as it resonates. Because some of you guys, your person did some diabolical shit that you would never. But that's okay. Because we have adjacent possibilities out here. That means that ass is going to be replaced. Okay? Love do not return to God void. We have free will. And so for those who don't want their past person back because, you know, it's just it's just a no. They will be replaced with another displaced divine counterpart. So, you know, and those union those unions are coming together as well. You know, so even though you may not be with your divine counterpart or you don't want to be <clears throat> be, be with your divine counterpart um excuse me your divine counterpart um the most high in the universe is click clacking things together to where you will meet or you will have another divine being cross paths with you and that would be your new assigned divine counterpart because their divine counterpart didn't make it neither. Okay, so just like you you didn't make it with yours, the person that's coming in towards you, they didn't make it with theirs. But y'all both are divine counterparts. So this divine journey, it, it'll still go on. It's just a, a rewrote contract. That's how come love do not return to God void. See what I'm saying? And that's what's happening. Because, honey, let me tell you something. When you give love and love hurts you and you heal from love and you still love, oh, that's going to get rewarded. Okay? that that God's in the business of rewarding love with love. Oh, yeah. Because you, you, you vibrating and you're operating in that energy to receive the love that you give. You didn't get no revenge. You didn't get no get back. Shit, you probably even pray for this one. That had adjacent possibilities outside of you collective. Sitting over here worried about your adjacent possibilities you have now. You ain't even with the motherfucker. Shit, it's been almost 10 years for some of you. Shit, almost five for the, for the others of you. Shit, five years, 10 years, five months, 10 months, who knows? But, um, yeah. 
is being replaced, especially when you did the work, the healing work. And you were able to still operate in those high vibrations of love. Yeah, somebody over here jealous and envious because they having financial and material changes. So somebody could be losing money. Okay, yep, with this third party, okay? Rejoicing and celebrating with this third party. Ain't got no money. Okay, somebody done fell in love and shit. And they over here mentally conflicted with this heart chakra being either worked on or blocked off. Or mentally conflicted in the heart chakra. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because you moved on. Okay. Divine feminine. I can't make it up. You moved on, divine feminine. They over here mentally conflicted. Shit, you moved on to a spiritual union. Come on, baby. Okay. Solar plexus chakra means that you were divinely guided too. Okay. This is your wheels that's turning your, your, it was like an automatic attraction. Okay. Yep. Now this person, look, now this person over here feeling conflicted and defeated. This divine masculine. Hey, okay, feeling conflicted and defeated because you had to sacrifice him. Temperance energy. <clears throat> um, no, not temperance. Uh, uh, hey man, energy. And 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 you had to, you had to. You lost. You emotional. This five of cups. That, that 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 heartbreak was loud, baby. The universe heard how when your heart broke, that universe heard that shit. That vib the vibrations of that heartbreak it vi it vibrated through the souls of the universe, baby. God had to put a rainbow over it. Wait a minute, he had to put a bandaid over that wound, baby. Shit, there you are, you all trapped in fear and shit, but now you can move forward positively. I like that because you grounded yourself and you healed yourself, star energy. And you balance yourself, justice, lever energy. Okay. All right. So I like that. That's, that's beautiful. So, Collecta, what can you tell me? Let's see. So, your person over here, you know, you, you have a new, for those who do, do not want to go back with your past person that we're pulling on right now because they're over here sitting in anxiety, they already know. Okay, so just like you have gifts, spiritual gifts, your person do too, especially if you're on the Toy Flying Journey Uni, Union. <laughs> Twin flying journey with your twin, okay? Um, but, and I, I'm talking fast, so it's like, um, I really don't want to be in the energies of Divine Masculine because it's so yucky. It's like, it's really, um, it's really sad over here. But you will have to get through it because this one, no, they, they, they fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did something. They did something fucked up. They could have emotionally withdrawn from you, stopped talking to you. You know, caused tower moments to your foundation. You know, you know, to your stability, your home life, something like that. Because they wanted to shit. They wanted to go and explore adjacent possibilities, shit, other options. Okay, that they thought that they could have uh, more financial success, material success, you know, emotional success with other than you that shit hurt that's how come that heartbreak was so loud what can you tell me about the yin and yang holy spirit what can you tell me about yin and yang mm. oh. that's a lot mm -mm. <laughs> i don't want to mm -mm. okay we'll take two all right we have third eye chakra and the crown chakra whoa and you know this, man. <laughs> Crown chakra, third eye chakra. Oh, yes. This is a spiritual union that y'all both know. Okay. So, y'all could have met in the 5D already. Uh-huh. Y'all could be married in the 5D already. You have spiritual strength. Damn. Oh, yeah. Y'all met in dreams before. Y'all know each other in the 5D. In the temptation here. With this, uh, look, we have the devil and the magician right here. Partnerships and alliances. Look, I will say this. It's making me feel like your person had to fight an adversary up there in order for them to get you down here. Something like that. This spiritual strength against the devil, a manipulating ass devil, the partnership and alliance. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, all right. Not good. This is what I'm getting.
Them person. Your old person and your new person, they know each other in the 5D. Yep. 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 That's why that possibility is adjacent. That's why your person sitting over here in anxiety. Yeah, yeah. They know each other. This waiting game. That good. They've been y'all. I've been round and round this mulberry bush a couple of times. Okay, waiting game. Firm foundation. This the final showdown. Positive movement forward. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Temptation. Awareness. Partnerships and alliance. Spiritual strength. Yep. 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 Yo, yo, your person always do this bullshit and this one always come in and swoop you up. That's what I heard. Yep. Somebody's birthday could be uh, July 6th, July 11th, July 22nd, July 18th, July 5th, July 20th, July 24th, July 6th. Oh, I said July 6th. July 9th. Uh-huh. July 15th, July 1st, July 3rd. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Somebody's birthday could be May 18th, May 7th, May 6th, May 22nd, May 11th, May 24th. May 20th, May 6th, May 9th, May 15th, May 1st, May 3rd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. So my birthday could be September 1st, September 15th, September 6th, September 7th, September 5th, September 3rd, September 22nd, September 11th, September 18th, September 24th, September 20th. Somebody could have been born in 1976. Mm. Mm. Child. Somebody could have just met their person this year. Or in, in uh, 22. Somebody could have met their person in 2018. Um, somebody could be 57 years old. Somebody could be born at 57. Um, the last two numbers of somebody's phone number could be 76. Or that could be the last two numbers of their address. The um, last two numbers of somebody's address. Could be um, 65. Somebody could be born at 65. The last phone number is somebody's phone number. It could be 2418. The last phone number is somebody's phone number. could be 1122. The last phone number is somebody's phone number. could be 1811. The last phone, somebody's phone number could be 5224. I heard 5222. Okay. I heard 1122, 22, Somebody's address could be 1811. Anybody street? I don't know. Somebody address could be eleven twenty two. Somebody address could be fifty two twenty four. Shit. Somebody address could be six twenty fifty seven. Somebody could have been born May seventy six. May 22nd, 1976. Okay. Somebody, kids could be 13, 15 years old. Somebody can have a nine year old, a 15 year old, a 13 year old. Or this could be grandkids. All right. Well, then, shit. Hmm. All right, so, collective, we're going to see, I'm going to see, what is this, 
what is this anxiety? I mean, it's just like just sitting there, just have a story to tell. So let's see what story this anxiety is screaming out. Ouchie. Uh, let's see which one else we gonna use. Shit, let's use the love situation. Yeah. Since it's, since it's a situation. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go on and get it. All right. We picked up the deck. We have addictions. Somebody could be codependent, obsessive, possessive, controlling. Somebody could be emotionally blocked. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about this anxiety here? Somebody could have anxiety because they're emotionally blocked. They don't know what to do with themselves is what I heard. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about the anxiety? Why is anxiety here? Somebody not talking because they emotionally withdrawn because they disturbed. Somebody mentally disturbed. Somebody can't eat, can't sleep. We have insane because of passion. It's not enough. Somebody's passion is not enough. Passion is not enough. So your person is 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 sitting here full of anxiety because they they feel as though some type of passion is not enough. Somebody have a burning desire for you, but they feel as though that's not enough. <sighs> they frustrated about that shit. Okay. Somebody lacking confidence about their passions and desires. So, yeah, somebody is their room issues. That's truth and clarity here. Ah, so some revelations done came. Okay. So, I mean, why is it not enough? So there's there's some issues going on in the bedroom. What kind what kind of issues? Somebody's feeling as though that's not enough. They need to come. They need to come with something else. Shit. What they need to come with? Let's go. Stop being the fucking narcissist. Go to mirror in the reverse. Stop love bombing. Stop being self-absorbed. Stop being one-sided. That's what they need to come with. Because all this trying to, to screw somebody's brains out, that shit ain't going to work. Look, and they over here, look, time to heal. Do some shadow work. Because they over here self-indulging in everything. I mean, it's like whatever they want, they going to get. But shit, that shit has sailed, baby. That's what got your ass cut the fuck off. Okay, it's time to move on from that shit. Separation. Got you in a prickly situation is what I heard. Mm. What, what can you tell me about this adjacent possibility? Okay, so we got to... What is to come of these adjacent possibilities? Let's go. What is to come... Thank you. Separation. See? Your person in the past, because of, the, because of these... Decisions that they made and judgment calls that they made to have these adjacent possibilities because they thought that there was spiritual and material prosperity here caused the separation. Now they over here missing you. Collective. Thinking about you. Uncertain about the future because they sad and bitter. Because they made the wrong judgment call. call. But them scales have to be balanced out now. We have shock in the reverse. So... It's almost making me feel like as though they they wasn't surprised at the fact that they did lose the connection with you because of the choices that they made. They knew it was a risk. Yeah, they were savoring the moment. Shit, meeting with this person, building a friendship with they with this person, they knew it was risky. They knew they was taking a risk, but they did it anyway, and that's the truth. Okay. What can you tell me about this, um, this destiny? What's coming in, what's, co what's destined with this memories of love? What is destined? Since there's, since there's memories of love, what is destined? <clears throat> Truth and clarity. Honor and protection. Because somebody was over here being seduced. So the truth about how and why somebody 
was hooking up and dating this third party, was tempted by this third party, playing with fire, licking in this shit. The truth gonna come out about that in divine time. Okay? Why they was chasing that shit. And now they won't love. But some of you guys, they could have fell in love with this person that they was chasing. Okay? Thought that they was gonna have abundance and shit. They got addicted to that bitch shit. They got cut the fuck off. Yeah. And now they over here missing you. So this person they was chasing or this person that they went over there towards, shit, they could have cut them off. They cut your person off. And now your person, that's why your person over here trying to get back with you. Or looking at you. Because shit, the person that they left you for cut them off. That's for some of them. What else can you tell me about this destiny? Yeah. Yeah, now they want to rebuild what they sabotage. They want to work on it. They want to repair it. And shit. Now they want to come in and tell you the truth and shit. But it's like, they still hiding their true feelings. They still, they still hiding and pretending. The reason why they ended things with you. Okay. They, they still over here with the shits. Yeah. And this is how come they're a memory of love. This is how come you cut it off. This is how come you, you left collective because you ain't finna go through this shit. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is why you emotionally withdrew from your person. You could have told them this. It caused a tower moment in their lives, okay? Especially to their foundation that they, or their achievements in life that they have obtained with you or because of you. And mm -mm. What can you tell me about this tower moment? It was a tower moment when you pulled back your your emotions from your person too okay or this is what they have went through because somebody did they don't want to tell you this though what can you tell me about um this tower moment disruption they all disheveled and shit broken and their hands are tied so somebody could have bought a house built a house a home foundation yeah that's you know, they finally achieved that foundation and it's broken Disruption. What's this di disruption? Something could have happened April 16th. Learning from the past. What did they learn from the past? Karmic relationship. What, what did they learn from this karmic relationship? This karmic relationship from the past. They need to let go. Okay, turmoil, fleeting. Okay, resentment, triggers. What did they learn? Shit. Looking at things from a different perspective, making memories with somebody's carpet. What did they learn? Shit. Learning, expansion, preparing for union, new phase, transitioning. So they ascending. They ascended from this lesson that they learned for some karmic relationship that they had in the past because they wanted to go back down memory lane and shit, make new memories and shit, reminiscing with a motherfucker. But what is this, this tower? Shit. Why this, what is this tower? Twin flame. Whoa. Stalking. Looking. Things coming to light. Wanting to heal. Finding out. Change. Wow. So you mean to tell me that your person finding out who you are to them cause this tower moment in this family household, this family dynamic because they found out who you were to them. They found out that you were their twin and they caused them to ascend from this karmic relationship that they were in, that they was over here making memories and shit having tower moments and shit learning from the past so this is a past karmic relationship that they went back to yeah and they had to emotionally withdraw from that they had to tell this person some of you guys they had to tell this person that they don't want to be with them anymore or that they're yeah they can't do this anymore they're letting this karmic relationship go. Yeah, because they're ascending towards their twin. 
That's for some of them. Mm. So what did this person do? Yeah, and they left. Wisdom, new beginnings, intuition, harmony, triumph, gone. So what did this, what did this um, karmic do? Because they was in a karmic relationship and they left that to reunite with their twin. They don't want to be a narcissist. Damn. So what did this, what did the person, what did the collector's person, what did that karmic do? What did they, how does that karmic feel about the collector's person leaving? And it took all the spiritual strength for them to do, heartbroken, whoa, they heartbroken. And they want to meet up and talk. Coffee cup, they want to meet up and talk. Okay, mirroring each other, introspective, inner wounds. Okay, they want to meet up with your person. They talk about it. Okay, they feeling lost, grieving, despairing. Okay, they they heartbroken about the breakup. Okay, oh, heartbroken. What else? Yeah, they 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 want to date your person. They want to rekindle. They want to regrow they want to rise from the ashes of being backstabbed so that some of you guys a person could be interested in you it says blow me it says interested in you after being heartbroken like okay do, it, do the karmic like you too <laughs> i mean this is what's up i ain't gonna lie That's the, the, they like you too yeah renew grow Okay, heartbroken and pain, separation loss. Uh-uh. Can't beat them, join them. That's what I heard. Yep, things coming to light to heal. Soulmates, abundance, paradise. A di uh, child. That's what I heard. Can't beat them, join them. So you mean to tell me that this, your person third party is starting to crush on you because your person done left the third party for you? And they starting to see like, what? Wow. Oh, cut, cut. What else can you tell me about this karmic third party? How, how does the karmic third party feel about the collector? How does the, the collector's person, how does the collector's person third party feel about the collector? I just don't get it. Oh, they said, oh, 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 they, okay, they said change the day. All right. Oh shit. Oh shit. They said get BB. Oh shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um let's see. How does the collector's person's third party feel about the collective? <laughs> Let's put it on the table. That's a hell of a question, ain't it? Because yeah, they feel a certain type of way. And I know I've seen that energy slide his ass on through. They starting to crush on you. They shit, they like you too, is what I heard. So let's see. That's for some of them, not all of them, okay? <laughs> I can't make it up. Let me see you. <laughs> this <laughs> collective you got a hedge of protection around you i don't think so big motherfucker okay they just stuck broken heartbroken is what i heard they just stuck being broken they want to see you but you got a hedge of protection look all your ancestors and angels she it i think the fuck now you can't see me uh-uh you can't shit. They ain't even on your level to see you. Child, what else can you tell me about this third party? How this third party feels towards my collective? Uh, this, this motherfucker said, I want to, now I see everything. Okay, so now they, let me see you. Now I see everything. Oh, 
So whenever, whatever. Oh, this one got a little attitude. They're infatuated with you. I can't make this shit up. They're infatuated with you. Let me see you. Now I see everything. Whenever, whatever. Okay. But they'll never admit it. This is why you have a hedge of protection around you. Collector. This one a little Delulu. A lot of Delulu. They infatuated with you. Now they see everything. They want to see you. Whenever, whatever. Oh, they want to see you. I'm getting a little attitude off of this shit. This some unpredictable ass shit right here. Never admit it. Don't give a flying fuck. Don't give a flying fuck about what? I forgive you this time? The hell? The fuck? This one crazy as hell. And look, just stuck, came right on out. They just stuck. Being broken. Heartbroken. No more drama out of this one. You got that hedge of protection collective. No more drama. Because they know they fucked up. I heard they know they get fucked up. What's this on the floor? Child. Uh, the feelings. <laughs> they feelings all on the floor. Shit, sitting in the mess they made. They don't want no smoke with you. Mm-mm. There's no more drama out of this one. Okay. They, they, they know they'll get fucked up. Damn. For some of you guys, they are blaming you for fucking up the connection that they have with your person. Okay. And they over here just broken, stuck with their feelings on the floor, sitting in the mess that they made. Okay. Gotta heal their heart. They are totally devastated that your person want to come back towards you, collective. Okay? And there's no escaping how they feel it. Broken and just stuck. No escaping from it. They can't stand you. They can't stand you, collective, like we, we don't give a damn or a fuck. Okay? Shit, they miss you too. They can't stand you and they miss you. They want to see you. Cherish the love. Just child. This one right here, you know, I see why you have this hedge of protection. Your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team is not playing with this third party. They got this third party in a chokehold. They feel it's all on the floor, stuck in the motherfuckers. Bringing no smoke. Because now they see everything. And this whenever, whatever. They 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 want to see you. And now I see everything. And whenever, whatever, and they infatuated with you. This could go both ways. Either on site or shit. Whenever you like. <laughs> but I, I think it's more of the latter because they don't want no smoke and they stuck being broken. So anytime they come try to come towards you. They know they fucked this up, right? And whatever, whenever they try to come towards you, stuck, broken. I don't hear shit. Car break down, bam. Money gone, bam. Shit, limbs and legs broke, bam. Heal your body, baby. Heal your heart. I mean, I'm just saying, broken hearted, stuck, broken. Okay, every time they try to come for you, that heart gonna get broke. That's that's the type of protection you have collected. You got a hedge all around you. They cannot penetrate that. That's why they're not coming with no drama. You got spiritual strong, strong hedge of protection. Look at your look at your giants, baby. Look at that. Okay, they holding them. They holding it up. They got you, baby. Look how you sitting pretty. None of that shit is gonna touch you. Cause you're aware. See, you got partners in alliances and in spiritual places that be fighting off of this devil trying to tempt you with this bullshit. Okay? Snatching that ass up. Devil don't know which way. Is they coming or going? Okay? Be confusing the fuck out of the devil. Okay? That's how strong your spiritual hedge of protection is around you. But Okay? 
collective. You ain't got to worry about them. Mm -mm. Just go ahead and continue to heal your heart, okay? And you got it. So let's see what's coming. Look, real love, true love. I was about to ask what's coming in for the collective. And this one to come out, real love, true love. I know that's right. So let's see. <laughs> what's coming in for the collective? Holy Spirit. Let's, let's do an energy check-in. Let's see. Let's do an energy check-in real quick. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is coming in for my collective? All right. Picked up the deck. We have the sun energy, Leo energy. And then we have the Empress energy in the reverse with the devil in the reverse. The Hermit energy. Okay, so, again, with the sun energy in the upright and the empress in the reverse, with the devil in the reverse, it's almost like you have to um, tap into your, 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 your shadow side to whoop some, some, some karmic ass or some, some toxic ass to get that devil up off your ass with this hermit in the upright and the sun in the upright. Yeah, you had to turn reverse to, 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 to meet somebody where they at. So you had to you had to handle some shit. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, baby. Mmm. All right. Well, shoot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's coming in for the collective? Will of Fortune in the upright. You damn right. Your destiny awaits. Will of Fortune is in, is in the upright twice. Moving forward, your destiny awaits. Things are moving forward for you. Hermit energy, okay? Spiritual enlightenment, spiritual ascension is here. Virgo energy. Do we dealing with a Virgo? Okay, but positive movement forward. Okay, it is destined. I heard spiritual teacher. Okay, it's your destiny to, to, to be spiritually enlightened. Spiritual guru, spiritual teacher is here. Yeah. It's like a prophet energy here. Yeah, a lot of wisdom, guidance and wisdom. Look, star energy, star seed energy here. They said bring that out. Okay, five of pentacles, three of swords. This is after you healed, after being left out in the cold, after being heartbroken. Somebody left you with your heart in your hands. That shit is over with. That cycle is closed, world energy. Okay, this is your, this was your, you was destined. To be a teacher and a healer of broken hearts, of hurts and pains. You had to go through it in order so you could lead and teach and guide other people to get through it. Earth angel you. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm, that cycle is over. Yeah. And you have new collaborations. You have new friends. You have new loves. You have new acquaintances. You have new contracts coming in after this. This is over no more. You learned your lessons that you do not have to go through that no more because you healed and you went inside self and you gave the enlightenment of self. And now you're able to move forward with the will of fortune. You're in alignment with the most high. Yeah. Four of swords, ten of cups. Yes. Temperance, energy. Yes. Moon, energy in the reverse. Yes. Oh, there ain't nothing hidden from you. Okay. Ain't nothing hidden from you. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, two of cups in the reverse, because you know that that wasn't, that was not the one, and you get to move forward because you know you listen to your, your, your angels, you listen to your, your higher self, you listen to your intuition, you listen to the Holy Spirit, you listen to God, okay, and and you did what was right by them. We have the Seven of Swords, okay. So somebody tried to get away with something here. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Somebody tried to confuse you about something. Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody tried to confuse you about some family dynamics, some third-party situation. It could be also, too, somebody could be trying to plan a surprise party. That's what I'm getting with the Hierophant. Okay, uh, somebody could be trying to get away from a third-party situation here to come back home. Okay, somebody that they were married to. Yeah, full energy in the Hierophant, taking a leap of faith. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Yeah, because that's what home is. They want to put in the work and the effort. What can you tell you about this Seven of Swords energy? Somebody is sneaking away from this 
for somebody who is a savage is what I'm hearing. Okay, and they taking all their swords with them. Okay, running away, looking back. Somebody always got to look over their shoulder. Five of Wands in the reverse because they don't want no smoke. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They just want to let go. Okay, Queen of Swords because some type of truth or clarity has came in. Okay, could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, somebody could be an Empress in reverse. Okay, what is this Five of Wands in the reverse? What's, the, what's they fighting about? Somebody don't want to fight no more. Yeah, so I don't want to be in competition. So I don't want to fight for this anymore. Why is the, what is the five of wands? Let's see. King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody don't want to fight for this. In the King, Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody don't. Ain't no love here. Somebody don't want to fight for this. Somebody don't want to keep fighting. Yeah, they want to go after their happiness and their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they want to. Offer a brand, they want to present a brand new offer to an empress in reverse. Okay. Mm. Swords in them. Ooh, swords. So somebody is making a head of a hard decision. Like I mean, it's like all it's, it's like no. No love. Oh, huh? logic. Yeah. Somebody could be a little emotional here. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. <laughs> uh, yeah, Seven of Wands and the Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so somebody could be a little bit emotional here. Um, it's, it's almost like, you know, they have to make this decision to cut this person out, to cut this, this, this situation, this situation ship out, um, because it's just, no, I don't want it anymore. Four of cups and the seven of wands. Yeah, I, no, I don't want this offer. I don't want, I don't, I don't want what you have to offer. I don't want this no more. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. And somebody have to be very st strategic as to how they they cut out or they step out or they tell this person or release this person or something like that. Yeah, double in reverse and eight of swords. Yeah, six of swords. Yeah, somebody moving on. They they they, they do not want to be in this toxic dynamic anymore. Somebody could stop drinking as well. Somebody could also too be coming out of some type of depression or some type of overthinking as well, laying something to rest mentally. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups. Yeah, something that they always was thinking about that happened in the past. They laying that to rest here because they don't want to think about that anymore. So, you know, this is somebody that's just really completely healing. This is what I'm seeing, Collective. You you laying things to rest. You're standing your ground. You're not going back to the things of the past that you had to already escape from once. You're not supposed to redo it or rehash it out again. So, you know, or relearn that lesson again. No. So, you know, you let the things that's in the past stay in the past and the things that's for you in the future, you're moving forward towards. Okay? But you do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups. So, you know, it was almost like it was destined for this opportunity to be missed because, you know, you have to stand your ground. You have to stand your ground and you have to make a head over heart decision and take your heart out of it. Even though it left you a little bit emotionally imbalanced here, but you didn't want to fight, you didn't want to argue, and you wanted to heal. You wanted to heal and you wanted to heal self. A lot of self-love here. And so you took it. And you put it upon yourself. And this is why real love, true love is here. And it's coming in for you too. It'll be here. Likes attracts like. Well, like attracts like. So, yeah, you put that on yourself, it will be returned to you, okay? All right, Collective, I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you. This was a beautiful, beautiful reading. I really, really, really do like the message um, of what <laughs> your person, that's all in your person's energies. It's like, you know, your person, they, this this is the things. I see why they're they're in this anxiety energy because look how beautiful your life is turning out. And they know that passion is just not enough to 
to conquer or how should I say to uh, come back into the graces and the the energies of Empress, the healed Empress. Okay, so yeah, so somebody got their hands full and tied. So who knows? <laughs> Collective. I'm gonna leave it right here. This is what I have. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.